welcome back to another monthly vlog. I wanted to pop on here and explain some stuff. This month is different. The entire reason why I did the monthly vlogs was one, because you guys like longer videos, but also I go out a lot. I do a lot of stuff. And usually by the end of the month, I have all this leftover footage. But this <laughs> month, this month, I have been sitting here in the same spot non-stop. I'm very focused this year. I feel like last year and the year before that, everything was kind of on hold. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm not waiting no more. None of us know when this is gonna be over. I'm not putting no more of my life on hold. I'm gonna kick off all these projects that I've been waiting to do. So I thought I would do like a what I've been eating type of video this month. Maybe what I've been watching because that's all I do. I eat and I watch anime while I eat and I work. Otherwise, it'll just be a video of me sitting here at the desk working, which is boring. I actually usually cook a lot. And I said like, when I get a house with more space, I can't wait to like film all of my recipes. I haven't been filming nothing. Kitty's playing with her toy. I still want to do a monthly vlog, so I'm just gonna be showing you guys some of the stuff I've been eating, what I've been cooking, a couple of my recipes and stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to fill you guys in on what's going on this month. Okay, the food. I'm making a little get rid of all the veggies in the fridge stew. <laughs> so I have some chicken and a bunch of veggies that I need to cook before I go anywhere because I'm actually leaving later on this week and I'll be gone for like, I don't know, two or three days. So I definitely want to cook all the vegetables I can that are in the fridge that I didn't get a chance to cook over Christmas. And I'm making like an African chicken stew, so it's like mainly tomatoes. Usually I'd add a lot of red bell peppers to this, but I don't have any. I have one yellow one, one sad yellow one. Just pan frying the chicken to give the stew like way more flavor. If you just boil it, it's, it doesn't have as much flavor to it. Oh my god, this came out so good. Sorry if you can hear that very loud noise, Douglas is running. Run, baby, run, good boy, keep running. Oh, you stopped. Honestly, this was like so easy to make because I was just working all day, so all I had to do was throw everything in a pot, let it boil for forever while I worked, and then come back. Mm. And now I have a delicious dinner that's gonna last me a few days. <coughs> I love easy meals like this that are like packed with veggies and also like ridiculously delicious. <laughs> So, I got this little Kiki's Delivery Service hot sandwich maker the last time I was in Kyoto. So adorable! But I don't eat bread. That is one thing that's almost never in my house. I'm just not a bread person. First is noodles, second rice, then potatoes. But my friends came to spend the night the other day and they brought bread. I have bread, so we're gonna try this. I think I'm gonna make like a bacon egg sandwich, maybe? <laughs> Thank you. 
to be eight o'clock but i was on uber eats where i should not be i noticed mcdonald's has some new items really excited i just want to try them get it out of the way you know shout out to caitlin she got me ranch when i went to go see her and i literally had a ranch craving tonight not not a food craving i was just like i want anything that will go with ranch All right, guys. All right, they have two new pies. There's a Belgian chocolate pie and a Canadian maple custard pie. Look at the cute little leaves. They brought back the spicy chicken nuggets, but here's the thing. These looked so much different than the other spicy chicken. Oh my God, they are <gasps> new spicy chicken nuggets. Oh my God. See, the other ones don't have these little pepper flakes in them. They had like two new sauces, but they only give you one, especially when Uber Eats. Like you can't even like put in to get two. This is their new smoky flavored cheese sauce. All right, let's give this a try. I'm excited as always. This must have came out like this week. Let's see. Yes to the cheese sauce. These don't taste spicy at all. They shouldn't call them spicy chicken nuggets. That's so confusing. Especially when they already have a spicy chicken nugget. They should call these peppered nuggets. It just has pepper on it, but the cheese is yes. This maple thing smells so good. The apple pies in Japan are nothing like the ones in America. It has like this deep fried crust instead. I actually prefer the American ones. They taste like they're baked. Whoa, that's probably the best pie I've tasted in Japan so far. And now for the Belgian chocolate. It doesn't smell as good as the other one. Hey. Let's play fetch. That is way too chocolatey for me. It's like someone melted a really basic candy bar inside of this crust. It's gonna be a no. I forgot to mention the saddest part ever. There is a potato shortage because something going on in Canada. I literally don't understand what it has to do with Japan. But now you can only buy small french fries you can't get a bigger size this is the biggest size they have which is the saddest thing i've ever heard please end the potato shortage i can't take it i have some chicken that i need to cook in the fridge today i actually have a meeting in like 45 minutes i wanted to cook something really fast that i could just like put on i don't have to sit in front of in order for it to cook if that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna make chicken and rice and just throw in a whole bunch of veggies that i just have i also need to cook those eggplants eggplant really doesn't go in this dish but i'm gonna put it in there anyways i just seasoned everything with paprika salt pepper onion powder garlic powder and that's it
meeting went really good. I washed my face, got ready for bed. Gonna eat this chicken and rice, which is so fire and was really, really easy to make. Still watching Fate Zero and I really like it. I think I'm on episode like 19 maybe? Kitty is playing with her toy. Yeah, I think I'm on like episode 19. This is one of those animes that I just gave up on and never watched. But I'm out of anime. I have nothing to watch. And I was like, let me go revisit some of the ones that I said, you know, I didn't have time for. So here we are. And I like it. It's very dark, which isn't really my style. I especially hate anime that's like all at night, which is this one. But I like it. All right. Chicken and rice and fate. Zero. All right, so I'm gonna make one of my absolute favorite go-to meals. This is basically what I was eating like nonstop when I was dieting before I went to Kyoto. Even though it's a low calorie meal that's like healthy, it's so delicious that I would eat it anytime. Like I don't have to be on a diet to eat this. It's also super fast and super easy. All right, so we're gonna start off with some frozen veggies. You can literally add anything you want, but this is what I do. In order to eat less carbs, I mix in frozen cauliflower in with my rice. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference when it's mixed half and half. I also add in some frozen veggies. I like this little mixed bag of veggies. I'm also gonna add some broccoli. Pop that in the microwave and then prepare all the other ingredients. Other than your frozen veggies, you're gonna need some kimchi, I like this brand, one egg, some garlic, rice of choice. I actually have a subscription to this rice on Amazon. So yeah, it comes like every other week. I absolutely love it because it's like only 150 calories. Some canned tuna, preferably tuna in water, not oil. It just adds like a lot of unnecessary calories and I think it's kind of gross. And you're also gonna need some dried seaweed, Korean seaweed. So basically the only thing you have to cook is the egg and you don't even have to add a fried egg if you don't want to. Absolute favorite part of this entire dish is the raw garlic. For the past like six months, I've been absolutely obsessed with raw garlic. Absolutely don't need to do this. I don't think this is for everyone. After the veggies and rice is warmed up, we're literally gonna add everything to this bowl. So yeah, I just mix all this together. I don't add any soy sauce or mayonnaise or anything like that because all these ingredients combined makes it really flavorful. The only thing I do add is a little bit of white vinegar. You don't need to add vinegar. It just, I like sour. Mix everything together and you're done. So yeah, this is so delicious. It's actually really filling as well. Like look at this gigantic bowl and it's not even that many calories because of the things that we put in it. Kitty smells tuna and she wants food. No kitty. I had two really sad looking bananas, so I decided that I'm gonna make banana bread this morning.
Now I'm adding this pumpkin pie spice, which is so bomb, and I think it goes really well with bananas. I'm just eating now. I'm having some of that leftover chicken and rice and I fried an egg and put it on top. This anime I'm watching is called Jobless Reincarnation. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorites this year. I just, I don't know why, I just love it. It's so well made. So yeah, that's gonna be today. <laughs> have the boondock carbonara ramen i like these noodles i don't really like the carbonara packet so i usually only put half but these noodles are fire because they're like flat and thicker kimchi mandu kalbi mandu can't eat my ramen without raw garlic a fish cake and of course lemon juice because i don't eat ramen without lemon juice oh. 